Hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you. You told us last time that you broke your back in three different places or something like that, if I the remember. The more you bring it up, the more she's going to think about it. Is it bad for us to be bringing it up moments before you're about to perform? I just need to concentrate on what I do and put this memory away. Are you going to do something different compared to the first time we saw you? Completely different. There is new tricks and uh, surprise. You will see. Good. Well, I hope you don't hurt yourself. Good luck. I hope to. Thank you. Thank you. I've never watched anything like this. Aww. That's weird. That's so cute. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 My name is Stephen Brundage. What are you doing for us today with those bags? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic today. Rubik's Cube magic? The act that I do, I'm the only person in the world that actually does it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> awesome. Can I step down towards you? Why not? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Now, there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up, so watch that close. Completely mix it up one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to Saul. <laughs> I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. <laughs> Completely empty. Can I look in it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's Cube. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. That would be an amazing trick if there was not a second Rubik's Cube in the bag. <laughs> but that's not the trick. I'm being sure you're still paying attention. Simon, can you actually cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up? Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Now, when you think of a solved Rubik's Cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's Cube? Watch close. Right about... Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You yeah. have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely perfect match. Magic is real. <laughs> Better than one side, though. 
That's going to be side number two. That is three. That is four. That is five. That is all six sides of completely perfect now. how excited I am to see you guys again. Thank you. I haven't seen anything quite like it before, and I hope you're going to do it the same, if not better, today. We, we will do our best. Can I just ask, why have you entered America's Got Talent? To have our own show in Vegas. That's our dream. OK. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, they're going to swap clothing? <laughs>
very good. Tonight, we want to show you something very special and different. Ever since Tommy and I got on the show for the first time, people have been coming up to me saying, it must be great to always know what your boyfriend is thinking. Well, it's not always that great. <laughs> but tonight, for the first time, you are going to feel how this is. Uh, can we lift up the board? We started very simple. We lived in a small apartment, but we always kept a bowl of jelly beans on the table. Our favorite sweets because they come in all flavors and colors. Amelie, look away. Simon, pick one jelly bean, anyone. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> um... Tommy, you're tasting something like... Mmm, it's sweet. It tastes like berry. It was the purple one. It is berry. Was it the purple one? It was. It was. Heidi, your turn. Take out a different one. Cool. You were going to eat it. Amelie? Heidi, you taste something different. I sense bubble gum. It was the pink one. Is that correct? The pink one? It bubble was. gum. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. Yeah. Melby, I have the feeling you have a sweet tooth. So I want to take you as many jelly beans as you like. We'll do that very fair. Amelie, look away. And Melby, take the scoop. Take the glass in the other hand. And you can add scoops into the glass. Half scoops, full scoops, just a few, whatever you like. Howie, how are you tonight? I'm very good. How very are you? Good. I I'm good. Oh, what would be your dream flavor for a jelly bean? Oh, Melby. Melby. <laughs> That's kind of a, it's kind of okay. a spicy chocolate. <laughs> a spicy chocolate Melby. Excellent. Very sad. Uh, <laughs> Melby, you're happy? Or you add some more. Yeah. You can add some more if you no, like to. This is perfect for me. So there's still some left for us. Thank you so much. Um, cover the glass with one hand. Put the other hand on top. Amelie, we are ready. So we all agree that no one knows how many jelly beans are inside this glass, right? But our brain is a curious thing. And somewhere in there, you probably you already know, Melby. Okay, Amelie, find it. I want you to look into my eyes, Melby. Your mind seems to be very busy at the moment. Relax. Somewhere I sense the jelly beans already. And I'm sure that you have 22 jelly beans inside this glass. You can remove the hands. 22, are you sure? I'm sure. 22 jelly beans. Okay, that's very fair. Put all the jelly beans on the tray. Push them all to one side. There's nothing left in the glass, right? And count one by one, bean by bean, loud, so everyone can hear it. Three, four, five, six, six. seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22 jelly beans! Thank you! These are all yours! Wait a second! Can we have the board, please? I have to apologize because maybe we were not completely honest with you. You thought we were reading your minds, but no. Remember, at the beginning, Amelie was standing next to the chalkboard. She said, it will be different tonight. We were not reading your minds. Tonight, we were controlling your thoughts. This board has hanging in full view the entire time. Whatever has been written on it cannot be changed. Amelie, Simon will pick a purple jelly bean. No. Heidi will select the bubblegum one. And Mel B will have exactly 22 jelly beans! Oh, P.S. We hope they'll release spicy chocolate jelly beans very, very soon. Very soon. <laughs> this is a little bit different for us. Oh, yeah. We are going to perform knife throwing. Now, what does every knife-throwing act need? A lovely assistant. 
And that's why we'd like to ask Mel B to come join Mel us B, up on stage. Would you please? This is going to be yes, great. Yes, let's hear it for you. Yes, How are you doing? Hi. I'm just thrilled it's not me. <laughs> oh, she's so lovely. Hi. Come right this way. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. How are you? Pleasure Thank to meet you so you. much Hi. for joining us. Watch your step here. Now, uh, we are going to put you on this giant pendulum, mm -hmm. and you will swing back and forth through the path of the knives. Right. What? Ah! Listen, there's yeah. nothing at all to worry about. Well, yeah. uh, there's one thing to worry about. I suppose. Owen will be throwing the knives, but he's going to be <laughs> blindfolded. <laughs> That's right. The entire time. I love this. Get you all over right. here onto the pendulum. Come on over here, Melvin. All right. This is great. So watch now, hang watch on. your step. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Hang on a second. What is that? Oh, my that God. That is not good. <laughs> that is... Uh, <laughs> okay. That... Uh, no. Okay. Oh you know what? It's going to be okay. That's fine. They give you extra That's parts. You yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give you these safety goggles. Okay. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, you very on. nice. Yeah. Mel, you are so brave. All right, now you're feeling good? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, Simon, last time we were on, you made us promise that if we came back, we would do something with Howie. Yes, that was, well, the, that was the deal. Yeah. Yes, well, we haven't forgotten about Howie. Yeah. Right. Why? <laughs> this stunt has timing, yes. it has accuracy, and now, with Howie's help, it has comedy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simon. We got, come on up here, Howie. Yes. Here he comes. Yes. It's, it's for Do America. it for America. Come on up here. Am I going to get wet? Well, there's a I, good chance. I don't know. This is going to get good. Seat yourself right out on the edge of this platform. Right. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> there we go. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Okay. I am so happy. I'm so angry. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you kidding me? Now! Oh. Oh. Now! No! My name is Victor. What are you wearing? Are you wearing something? I'm wearing a litard. It's actually clothes, so don't be tricky, especially the last rows. Where are you from, Victor? I was born in Ukraine, and now I'm proud American for 20 years. Oh, wow. Congratulations. And what do you do? I'm a juggler. A juggler? How did you get into this? When I was five years old, my brother snuck me from the kindergarten and bring me to the juggling show that was in my little town. And since then, I was fascinated with juggling and decided to juggle. Victor, how old are you? Uh, Simon, I'm 45. You look great. Thank you. All right, go ahead, show us what you do. Amazing, thank you. Yeah.
amazing.